bigger problem is what about the communists, Marxists, and fascists that have been here for a long time? The ones that are partially running our government. We got to get them the hell out, too. I will immediately sign a new executive order to cut federal funding for any school pushing critical race theory, transgender insanity, and any other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content to our children. I will keep men out of women's sports. And I'm the one that started that. They all, by wonderful, brilliant people that work with, sure, I'd rather not have you bring that up. This is like two years ago. I'd rather not have you bring that up, they'd say, Marjorie. Sir, you know, a consultant, they get paid all this money, they don't know a thing. And frankly, uh, whether they want it or not, it's wrong. And it's so demeaning to women, so to women, so horrible for women. You saw the other day the weightlifter. 19 years, this record, and the woman was a great champion. They poured a quarter of an ounce on one side of the barbells, a quarter of an ounce, quarter of an ounce on the other. And she did everything she could. I'll do it in the heat. It's hot as hell out here, by the way. Hot as hell. But we have to keep going. We have to trudge forward, right? Who the hell cares? You go home, take a nice cold shower, you'll be fine, right? But she took those barbells and she lifted them and her parents were there and her future husband was there. And they were going to watch her break the record by just a little tiny bit. Stood for 19 years. And she got up and she almost had it, but she couldn't do it. And then comes a nice guy who's now transgender. They said, have you lifted before? No, uh, not really. Have you had any experience with weightlifting? No, not much. Well, it's your turn. Good luck. Oh, thank you very much. Bing. That was the end of that contest. And they beat the records by many, many, many pounds. It is so unfair and degrading for women. And you know the amazing thing, because of our crazy woke society, and I hate the word woke actually, because nobody even has a real accurate description. It means lack of common sense more than anything else. But because of because of that, because of these people, uh, the even the participants are afraid to talk about it. And as you know, I didn't do mandates and we'll never have a vaccine or a mask mandate. We never do it. I didn't do it. Other people do. And we will protect and have protected our Second Amendment. I will defend innocent life like nobody has ever done before. Nobody's ever done that. Fifty years and we got it. And now you're in a position to negotiate something really big because of what we did. I will bring back free speech in America and I will move heaven and earth to fully secure our elections. We have to secure 